when you decided to improve your life, that's when people start getting their feelings. That's when people start to act funny. Now, have y'all noticed, every time you improve your life or it start advancing, people start acting funny towards you. And people no longer want to speak to you anymore. People no longer want to hang out with you anymore. When you try to talk to people or speak to people, they give you the cold shoulder. They don't want to have nothing to do with you. All because you are improving your life. You are advancing. You are finna graduate from this level and finna go to the next level. You see, people get all upset when you start changing. By changing, I mean changing for the better, changing for the good. But not too many people will be happy for you. So let's get that straight right now, ladies and gentlemen. You think everybody ain't gonna, you think everybody not gonna be happy for you? Well, I got some news for you. They ain't gonna be happy. And when you get that new car, that new house, or you get that promotion on the job, whatever it is, you think people are gonna be happy for you? You better think again. You better wake up and smell the coffee and smell the bacon. Cause let me tell you something. Everybody ain't gonna be happy for you. And you're gonna see what I'm talking about. People gonna start acting fun towards you, giving you these envious eyes. And they can try to say they're happy for you all they want to, but you can tell when somebody is not happy for you. You see, they can say it out their mouth and try to hide it, but their body language and their feelings will never ever lie to you, folks. Always keep that in mind. Their body language says it all. When I say it says it all, it says a lot. You think people or your so-called friends or so-called family members is going to be happy for you. Some of you have achieved goals, improved your life, broke the generational curse in your family. You thought your own parents or your siblings would be happy for you. Those the ones out there that got family and your family would never ever supported you. I'm talking to y'all. You would think they were going to support you, but the whole time you got the opposite. You always got the short end of the other arm stick. You always went out for these people. And what did you get in return? Nothing. Nothing but a doggone like that, that type of look in the face. Or this type of look. They looking at you all creepy and eerie. The demons inside of these folks. It's making them feel some type of way, ladies and gentlemen. So when you improve your life, don't expect for everybody to be happy for you. Because I got some news flash again. They ain't going to be happy for you. You might as well ride this thing solo. You might as well shut your mouth. And move in silence. When I say everybody ain't going to be happy for you, everybody is not going to be happy for you. You can sit here and think the whole world gonna clap for you. Most of the time, some people are gonna clap for you. But on the other half, not so much. <clears throat> Excuse me. Not so much. You looking for that pat on the back? You need to pay, you need to be putting your own self on the back. Say good job. I'm proud of you. Everybody ain't gonna congratulate you, I mean, excuse me, congratulate you and pat you on the back. You got to do that on your own. But I made it to you right now. When you improve your life, when you start upgrading, I guarantee you, I guarantee dog going to tell you, everybody going to be acting, not everybody, but everybody going to be feeling some type of way. The ones that you grew up with, since childhood, those are the ones I'm talking about. You will literally think that they would be happy for you. But guess again. Guess again, ladies and gentlemen. But in this season right here, starting right now today, separate yourself. 
Isolate yourself. I don't care who you're around. Separate yourself away from these folks. Quickly as possible. Everybody out here don't want to see you make it. Everybody want to see you doing bad. Twice as bad as them. Or when you're doing good, they ain't like that. But when you start improving and advancing, 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 oh, everybody emotions going to change from this to this. All them smiles going to turn into frowns. Then them frowns going to turn into mean looks, mean mugs. Everywhere you go, people ain't got to know you. They're going to be looking at you like you stole something from them. They're going to look like, they're going to be looking like they stole, you stole some money from them. No, a dog gonna wear you ain't did nothing to these people. <laughs> Man, people out here are weird. When I say they are real folks, they are some real people out here today. Today's society, even on social media as we speak, realness is everywhere. Because people are so caught up in their feelings. They're caught up in their emotions. This is why they said emotional damage for a reason. Because people are caught up in their feelings. No, and don't go where their feelings ain't going to get there nowhere in life. And they keep on putting out their hate into the universe. I don't know what these people be thinking. When they think they're just going to put out some type of energy, they're not going to come back and bite them. So It don't supposed to be like this, to be honest with y'all. It doesn't supposed to be like this. All this hate, all this envy. People should be congratulating one another, saying good job. Because they don't know what you have been through for you to improve your life like that. Yeah, some of you went through homelessness. Some of you had to sleep in your car. Some of you had to stay in the shelter. Some of you had to move out. Some of you had to do some type of everything. Some of you probably was in foster care. Some of you probably had to sleep on the side of the street. People don't know until it happened to them. People don't know until, it, until they actually do what you had done. Now they're starting to see, but people are going to be people, y'all. What can I say? People are going to be people. And when I say everybody going to be against you, but um, I'm going to be honest with you. When you start improving your life, when you start going on your own path and not doing what society tells you to do, that's when everybody, keyword, not everybody, but some folks is going to switch up on you. Some folks is going to turn on you. But that's okay, because guess what? They were never, ever meant to be. Do you hear me right now? They were never, ever meant to be in your life in the first beginning. You had a bunch of energy suckers around you. A bunch of energy vampires. Sucking all your energy away from you. Trying to get what they can take away from you. And you looking at this person as a family member. As a friend. As your boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife. Take them doggone labels off these people. And start looking at them closely. And start questioning yourself. Is they really happy for me? Or they just want to take, 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 take away from me. Ask yourself that. Because when you stand the same, oh, they love you then. But when you advance, watch what I tell you. And you could be looking like Brian was right. That's when people are going to start switching their emotions towards you. They went from being your friend to becoming your enemy. They smile in your face. But the whole time, they want to take your doggone place. Them backstabbers. <laughs> Them backstabbers, y'all. It's real out here. If you think I'm lying, I dare you and I challenge you. Change your life right now, today. I dare you. I trip a doggone dog dare you to change your life. And you're going to see what I'm talking about. But if you scared, I ain't talking to you. But if you ain't scared and you ain't got no fear in your bones, I'm talking directly to you. Sir, ma'am, man, 
sau đi học cho kinh tế giàu take that risk as soon as you take that risk watch you gonna be getting mean mug looks people be staring at you from left and right people gonna try to come into your life to get some up out of you whether it's your energy or sexual energy some people gonna look and at you like eyes full of lust because they want to sleep with you they want to get that you know what i mean people think they slick out here They're not coming to your life to support you. They just want to snatch away what you had got. They want to snatch away what God had blessed you with. This is what I'm saying right now. People will start acting funny towards you. But that's where normal back then. When you were just like these people. Was they acting like this? No. They were treating you like a regular human being. Now people looking at you like you were some type of celebrity or something. Now people looking at you like you this superstar. They're telling their little friends, I'm going to get with him. I'm going to get with her. And I'm going to see what I can take, take, take away from him. And not knowing, you see the plot. Not knowing, you know what this person all about. This person really think you sleep out here, but you really not. You can tell this person is in their feelings. They're in their emotions. And when you cut them off, now they're acting crazy. Now, they're trying to get in touch with you. Now, they're becoming desperate. I'm telling y'all. When y'all start advancing, it changes people. And just like they say, when you start getting money, it changes the people around you. They expect money to change you, but no, it changes the people around you. It reminds me of that song by Sidney Lauper. It called Money Change Everything. Because money do change everything. And rest in peace to Biggie Smalls. More money, more problems. The more money you get, the more problems you're going to receive. It's like a blessing and a curse. See, when you start advancing your life, you advance for the better. But at the same time, folks, are you really ready that comes with this? Because some people don't be ready for it. It drives some people insane. That's why some people are scared to change in life. They're scared to elevate. They're scared to thrive in life. That's why people are still stuck in these comfort zone, aka box or boxes. That society want to put them in. And they choose to be like that. But when they see you get out of that box. Get out the matrix. And you start advancing your life. You start switching your vocabulary around. And when you start saying words they never heard before. They be like. Huh? Did you say? Huh? That's the number one sign. Get away from them. Because they still stuck with that. Pre-K, elementary, middle school, high school type of vocabulary. You're on that college, real life type of vocabulary. Which means you start upgrading. You upgrade the way you dress. You start wearing suits, dresses, high heels, ladies. Fellas, you start wearing your ties, smelling good. You got your fresh alligators on, Stacey Adams. Fresh haircut, diamond in the ear. Y'all done changed a whole lot. You went from driving to this type of car and driving a certain type of car that you always wanted. Your dream car. You went from living in an apartment for living in the house. From house to a mansion. And if it haven't happened yet, trust and believe me, it's about to happen. You just got to keep on putting in the work and believing in yourself. Because if you don't believe in yourself, who going to believe in you? My point exactly. Nobody ain't gonna believe in you. So it's your job to believe in yourself. It costs zero cents. That's to believe in yourself. So when you take that risk, I warn you right now, people are gonna switch up, but don't you worry about that. Don't you worry about a doggone thing out here. <laughs> you went through so many obstacles, so what? You can go through some more. What's your excuse? What's stopping you? The only person that's stopping you is you. So what's your excuse once again? And may I ask, if you're afraid, why are you afraid for? If God with you, you ain't no ear. When God is with you, who can be against you? When God is in your corner, who can come against you? Nobody. 
So I dare you right now, whoever watching this video, to get up, start making some changes in your life, and start improving yourself. Don't do it for them, do it for yourself. If you really want to go out there and change your life for the good, you'll go out there with no shame, no fear, no anxiety, no nothing. Ain't no fear over here. Ain't no fear in our DNA. Because guess what? We are warriors. We are chosen. When you answer the call, guess what? You was meant to complete the assignment that the Most High had given you. Even when you were born, you was chosen. But it took you a certain amount of years to figure this out. Because when you was a child, even as a kid, you probably had teachers adored you. Because they probably saw the lightness and greatness inside of you. They said this little boy or this little girl going to be something one day. Or on the other hand, it probably was the opposite. You probably got picked on or bullied. And people only do this because they see something inside of you. But as you got older, the knowledge, the wisdom, the understanding start kicking in. And you start becoming a threat to society. Everybody start getting intimidated because you start improving. Every day you woke up, you start improving your life skills. And it made people feel some type of way. And then they're over there boo-hoo and crying and whatnot. I'm talking about tissue after tissue. Crying the water, getting the tears out their eyes. Waterfalls. Crying the river and whatnot. I'm talking about tears that's floating. The eyes is flowing with tears down their cheeks. Because they all in their feelings. Emotional damage. Emotional trigger right now. Every time you open up your mouth and say something real, don't you know it triggers people. Every time you say something about improving, it makes people upset. Congratulations. You had just went to the next level. And guess what? They can't go. So y'all got to clap it up. And pat yourself on the back. If I could, I'd pat you on the back and say, good job. Do your thing. Don't let nobody stop you. Let me tell you something. When you out here doing God's work, you ain't going to get no support like that. But when you get around the right people, you're going to get 100%, 10,000% support. This is why I am making this video for a reason, ladies and gentlemen. Because some of you that's now getting started on your path, if you're working on the YouTube channel, keep going. Let me tell you something. When you start that YouTube channel, it's not going to come easy. Trust me, you got to put it in a whole lot of work. Remember, success does not come overnight. If you're trying to start that broadcast, it's the same thing. It takes time to build. It's like you're building a house. It takes time to build that house. You got to work day by day, day by day, day by day. Take your time. Don't rush. But at the same time, remain consistent out here, ladies and gentlemen. Will make consistently. As long as you work, remember, as long as you work and you keep remaining consistent out here, it's going to come to you. But if you give up and throw in the towel, it ain't never going to come. So long as you keep on improving your life, you will see what I'm talking about. You will reap the fruits. You will. When I say you will, you will. Get everything that you had worked for. Remember, y'all, y'all got to remain patient out here consistently. There are going to be some days you're going to get fed up. You're going to get tired. You're going to feel like cussing. You're going to feel like doing this and that. But that ain't going to do nothing. What that going to do? Not nothing. Whatever you got to do, cry it out, pray it out, do whatever you got to do. But after that, wipe your face. Get it out your system. Go back out there and do it again. Get, get back out there and fight. It's like you're a boxer. You keep on getting your behind whooped. Guess what? Somebody in your corner will say, go back out there and do it again. It will remind me of the movie Rocky. If y'all ever seen the movie Rocky with Sylvester Stallone and rest in peace, Apollo Creed, Carl, what's his last name? Carl Weathers, I think, yeah. 
It reminds me of the Rocky movies. Best motivation movie, by the way. Rocky three, he kept on getting his behind vote by Mr. T. Then by the end of the movie, he finally had the courage to go out there again and whoop his behind. If y'all seen the movie Rocky three, by the way, when uh, Mr. T and Sylvester Stallone fought it out to the end, and they were playing that song, The Eye of the Tiger. That should be your motivation right there. If life keep on whooping your behind, and you trying your best to improve your life, get back out there and try again. Don't let life push you down or bully you and have you stuck inside the house and scared. Scared to come out and do something with your life. Mm -mm, don't, do, don't do it. Because life can be a you-know-what. But at the same time, don't you let that push you down. You get back up and show that life. You show that SOB, who's boss. You show that son of a gun. I ain't never scared. You show them I am a warrior. I am a survivor. So bring it on. Because when you get up and fight and stand up, you're going to realize how powerful you really are. And you're going to be just like Sylvester Solo in the, in the movie Rocky. You're going to knock every obstacle out. Every time the enemy trying to punch you, you're going to block it and you're going to and knock it down and you're going to win. That's like that. Survivor, the eye of the tiger. Don't you stop believing in yourself. I don't care who's saying what about what. I don't care what your type of personal issue you had in the past or none of that. I don't care what you got going on right now. That's an excuse. Trust and believe me. Whatever they tell you, or oh, so you can't do this or you can't do that, you too slow, you too this, you too that. Don't you listen to these people. That is a lie from Satan. You get up and you tell them, I could do all things through Christ that give me the freaking strength. Do you understand? Tell them to go back to that. Tell them to go to hell. I ain't trying to sound mean when I say that either, but tell that enemy, tell that devil, he can go back to hell where he belong. Because they ain't nothing but a bunch of lies. People want to feed your mind with negativity and lies and fear and anxiety, but you finna block all that out and you still finna improve and you finna embrace all of your struggles that you have been through, you finna turn it into a positive thing out here. So whatever it is you got going on, don't you let it stop you. Whatever your personal situation is or struggle, don't let it stop you. Keep going. Keep improving your life. If people want to get in their feelings, screw them. If they want to act all funny, the hell with them. Screw them. You don't need them anyway. But strangers will come to you. And pat you on the back and say, good job, man. Good job, Miss Lady. Good job, y'all. Well, watching this video. Good job. You had you had made it to the next level. Congratulations. I am proud of you. But it doesn't stop there. Keep going. Don't stop. And with that being said, we're on our way to the top, ladies and gentlemen. So... Put your finger up in the sky or in the ceiling, wherever you at right now, and say, I'm on my way to the top, and who's going to stop me? I'm going to keep on improving my life. And that's like the movie Rocky, especially Rocky Three. Get up and fight and knock him, knock him down. Knock him or her down. I'm talking about obstacles, by the way. When life's trying to beat you up, you get back up and say, come on, I got some more fight left in me. And when you knock him down or her down, I'm talking about life. And when you, you really going to knock it down. And you could be the only man or only woman standing. Watch what I tell you. Remember, the eye of the tiger. Y'all got this. I'm rooting for you. So with that being said, God bless you all. I'll see you soon.